Yo, yo, welcome peeps yet again to another Urban Gameplay Countdown video and in this video we're going to be reflecting on what I consider the top 5 Grand Theft Auto radio stations to grace any Grand Theft Auto game. As a big GTA fan, I've always looked forward to all of the elements that the game contains, but trust me, since playing Grand Theft Auto 3, the radio stations has definitely been a feature that I've always looked forward to any time a new GTA game's drop. All the time you want to know is what tunes, what radio stations, what personalities have they drafted in, and believe me when I say this has definitely been one of the hardest lists that I've put together over the past few months. Just to make my task a little bit more difficult, I have only selected one radio station from one GTA game, so to make a very list I have refrained from putting multiple stations from a single game. My decision is mainly based on radio stations that I continuously listen to whilst playing GTA. Don't judge me on my choices because I know some of the radio stations I picked are definitely questionable. If you've got a top 5 radio station of GTA games that you've played, definitely don't forget to pop it in the comment list below. So without further ado, let's get to it and let's review what I consider my top 5 Grand Theft Auto radio stations of all time. Occupying the number 5 position is Radio Los Santos. When it comes to dropping the hottest hip hop stations in a GTA game, Radio Los Santos is certainly up there. This has been a classic station even back in San Andreas where the DJ was dropping hip hop classics. In GTA 5 this station is definitely among my favourite as it is more of a hip hop station dropping modern hip hop tracks and what I love is the fact that the PS4 version and also the Xbox version has got exclusive tracks in comparison to the Xbox 360 version which dropped back in 2013. So the station definitely got updated for the new gen. Blue Walk used to be one of my favourite stations on GTA 5 when I first got the game but as time passed I just started to get a feeling for Radio Los Santos and it definitely is one of my top radio stations in GTA 5. Taking up position number 4 is The Beat 102.7 on Grand Theft Auto 4. Yet again another top hip hop radio station and on GTA 4 this game was definitely one of the radio stations that I kind of played the most. It kind of was between The Beat and also Massive B because Massive B radio station was definitely another reggae station that I absolutely loved on GTA 4 but it just got edged out by The Beat 1027. The Beat 1027 isn't the longest radio in the GTA history but it does have quite a lot of great music it offers you an interesting choice of songs and at the same time it's very refined in what is truly impressive as a fan of hip-hop or even electric music for some people you would definitely love this radio station for sure and I have to say that there are a bunch of celebs from the hip-hop world on this radio station such as Busta Rhymes and also you'd find Red Cafe, Stars P, Crack House, Mayno and others and also the reason why I actually love this radio station because it introduced me to the track hip-hop which featured Jada Kiss, Saigon and also Joel Ortiz. That track was a top track and one of the tracks that I looked forward to listening to whilst playing this game. This is definitely a top top radio station on GTA 4. Taking up position number 3 is KJR Radio West on San Andreas. For those who know me know I'm a big fan of reggae music and definitely this station is a top reggae station across most Grand Theft Auto games. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is about the hood life and the way a person can rise to greatness and boy do they manage to bring in amazing experiences especially with KGR Radio West. The radio station offers a whole bunch of cool music to begin with and listening to the entire experience is definitely a complete delight. If you lived in the 90s you would definitely recognise bands like Shakademus and Flyers, Black Uru, Max Romeo, Blood Sisters, Budja Bantam, Willie Williams and many others. It's nice and exciting to see KGR Radio West dedicated into the hood life and the music that it provides fits the game just perfectly. As a reggae fan, this is definitely a top radio station. The KJ radio which appeared on GTA 3 was definitely a top one, but I just feel they upped the level with this radio station on San Andreas. In position number two is Flashback FM on Grand Theft Auto 3. I don't care what anyone wants to say, since GTA 3 dropped, the radio stations was top. I can easily make a top 5 GTA radio stations just based off GTA 3 because all the radio stations on this game was phenomenal, but the one that stood out for me was definitely Flashback FM. 
The 80s music found in this radio station is amazing and at the same time you can actually find commercials which imbue the game with a lot of realism. You won't really care about the commercials, that's one thing for sure, but the simple thing of having them was definitely revolutionary at the time for me when I first played GTA 3. It's amazing to see that music from Flashback FM is realistic and conforms to the era of the game as it brings a sense of authenticity unlike ever before. It's a whole bunch of fun to play and this game definitely with its great tunes at Flashback FM you can just imagine to bring in the amazing time and the period that it brought back into the 80s. For me the fact that most of these songs stem from Scarface definitely added so much more to this radio station. Some of the songs may sound cheesy but at the same time it was definitely a top radio station in GTA 3. And that's the reason I could not leave this radio station out of my top 5 list. As I said before there was definitely so many radio stations from GTA 3 that I could have included but this was definitely one of the radio stations that I personally listened to the most. Taking position number one is Fever 105 from Vice City. I don't care if anyone wants to debate with me, I feel that Fever 105 on Vice City was definitely the greatest radio station across any Grand Theft Auto game and that goes from GTA 3 all the way to Grand Theft Auto 5. Fever 105 is definitely a great radio station that has to make the top GTA 5 radio list just because of its uniqueness. The Vice City game is all about funkiness and the pop culture of the 80s so what can be better than actually having a whole bunch of fun with funky music. The soundtrack on this game is just amazing going from the likes of Michael Jackson, Tina Marie, M-Tune, In Deep, trust me the list goes on, Pointer Sisters and The Whispers among many more. This is definitely worth a listen and this radio station will have you bumping for weeks weeks upon weeks. I don't even feel that I ever changed the dial since I got the game. Well that might be a bit of an over exaggeration because obviously stations like Emotion, The Wave and K-Chat was certainly other radio stations that I listened to but this radio station was definitely the best out of all of them hands down. Anyway peeps, thanks for taking the time out yet again to watch another Urban Gameplay Countdown video. Let me know what your top 5 radio stations in any Grand Theft Auto game was or even just a favourite radio station that you feel I've missed out and overlooked. Anyway peeps, if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed to Urban Gameplay yet just to gain more cool gaming content. Until next Urban Gameplay video, peace out peeps. <laughs>